now we have done the necessary setup and uh, also created the uh, required master uh, now let us try to go and create our first project so uh, the project will be created under project planning folder you will see there are three folders project resources and task list and then we have got project monitoring that mainly involve monitoring the projects uh, and you will be billing uh, using costing billing accounting or timesheet the first thing you will be doing is coming to the project planning uh, folder and go to the project folder and then it will come up with the list of all the existing project in your portfolio uh, our system uh, typically comes up with this portfolio basket first and uh, after you select that project you can then go to the next options of uh, uh, in that particular folder so uh, let's begin creating our first project so when you come to the portfolio you either select this project and go to the task list or you uh, add a new project so when you add a new project so let's begin creating our first project say NH55 project uh, what is the start date say for example we are starting this on 1st of January and this will end in the month of uh, July value is say 120,000 uh, we select our customer uh, we select our location again it's not mandatory uh, but it's good to have this information uh, so that tomorrow you want to filter out for locations you can do that uh, then you can select your project type uh, are you still at the bidding stage or it's at the implementation stage and once the project we change the status to completed and discarded so uh, let's say it's implementation now calendar is very very important in the project setup uh, reason being it it calculates the duration of the project so if you're working for five days a week so that means at 10 days uh, work is going to involve two weeks time so monday to friday and then again the following week but if you're working seven days a week that means you're also working on saturday and sunday so basically the project is going to end much earlier than uh, two complete weeks so here we define how many days we are working and once you see the calendar you can uh, see you're working from monday to friday eight hours a, a day once you save it you will see uh, it will come up in our dashboard or in our portfolio uh, you select your project and then we go to the task list uh, here it will come up with the project name what is the plan start uh, what is the duration as we have defined and progress is not yet started uh, the, so the very first thing you will do is now create task under the project uh, say for example we will create a task called and we can define a task color type means this is wbs or work breakdown structure or its task uh, weight uh, at the moment you leave it system will automatically define the weight of that particular task on the project and depends on number of tasks so plan start on the first of january to complete this task and then we save it it comes up with one task under the project so you can create as many tasks as you would like and you can also uh, create a task hierarchy so basically if you want to create a task under sign of project you will click this plus options otherwise if it's at the same level you will always select the upper level so plus so now we want to select this plus so now say for example the next process is procurement this will begin from uh, 7th of january and it will run for uh, 12 days and we want to change this color and save it so now we have created some task in this project so sign of project procurement design engineering and construction what is the plan start and what is the duration of this task as you can see progress is not yet started you can bring additional field in this say for example what is the actual start uh, what is the actual finish uh, you can also bring a lot of other uh, 
important project management decision making tools like what is the free float what is the total float uh, once uh, once we calculate the float in the system so uh, either you want to see this in a task list format or you would like to see in the Gantt chart format so if you would like to do that so just click this Gantt chart option you will see it comes up with the Gantt chart format as well uh, you can by default it goes uh, how many now whether this uh, project is for number of months it will show in months and you can bring it to weekly view or daily view as well uh, or even yearly view if this project is two three years uh, so the best way to look at it is because it's a number of months so you can uh, possibly look in the weekly view or monthly view